Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thorne. Today we're talking tips for focus as an ENTP personality type. So, okay, first of all, ENTPs are one of the extroverted perceiving personality types. That makes you one of the testers. ENTPs, they like to test innovations. They like to experiment on new technology, new ideas and new possibilities. They like to connect the dots and the data and the numbers, and they like to make quick data analysis and deductions, and they like to make decisions on data, fast decisions on rapidly changing, growing, and often very complex data. So ENTPs, they are the real-life number crunchers, the fast pace, the pattern surfers, the people that basically go over all these new events and trends and data trends and transitions and problems and issues that happen in the world. So what I've come to note this is a lot of ENTPs, they reach out to me and they ask, Eric, how can I become more focused and more disciplined as an ENTP? Now, the idea is, as an ENTP, you don't want to be in the current. You don't want to be in the chaos. You don't want to be around all the numbers and all the figures and all the data. You want to be able to sit down with one data point and really work through it and really understand it and really look at the details and really make sure you're not glossing over something because you're afraid that you're going to make mistakes. So ENTPs, they have an ISFJ stress. That means they are stressed about making mistakes, stressed about saying things they shouldn't, stressed about making wrong deductions or errors of judgment, showing bad judgment, making the wrong decision, making ethical missteps, and forgetting to ask themselves important questions before making decisions, especially ethical decisions. Basically, should I be doing this? Is this right or is this wrong? Or can I offend somebody by doing this? Or can I ignore some important human rights issues by doing this? Or can I be making any problems that will have consequences for other people if I do this? So ENTPs, they will face a lot of stress. And if you are on the dominant side of the ENTP spectrum, you're always going to be like, screw that. Then I'm not going to think about that. And I'm just going to have fun. I'm just going to create. And I'm just going to go at it. And I'm just going to put those fears to rest. But if you're on the more conscientious side of the ENTPs, you're going to be worried about this a lot. You're going to be kind of afraid of the chaos, afraid of the data, afraid of numbers, and afraid of the fast-paced lifestyle that you are living and that you so much enjoy and that you tend to get so caught up in. Because let's be real here, ENTPs enjoy it. They like it. They find it fun. They find it stimulating. They find it thrilling. You know, it's as an ENTP, you enjoy the rush of new connections, new possibilities, new data, experiments, just jumping in, trying things out. How does it work? What happens? What are the consequences? What are the learning lessons? What are the uh, things we can get from this? So a lot of time, you know, you want to just jump on the carousel and just be a part of it and just experience it. And that's what makes it so annoying because uh, you know that sometimes when you've done this, you've made bad errors of judgment. You've done bad things, you made decisions that you shouldn't have, you forgot to think about important considerations because you were so fast-paced and so focused on the results. A lot of time results are key to an ENTP. An ENTP has this need to always get and produce results with everything they do. It's like everything has to lead to something else. Everything has to create something else. Everything, data has to lead to data, has to lead to data, has to create data. So whatever you do, you have to learn something from it to get something from it. And you have to think that you're going through this uh, roller coaster and you're figuring things out and you're becoming so intelligent and you're becoming so smart and so clever. You know, the idea is uh, by having this kind of lifestyle and being so fast paced and by working through these things, you're going to figure out and learn more things than anyone else. You're going to know more than anyone else. You're going to be the smartest person in the room. Uh, <laughs> And you're going to make all the best decisions. You're going to be so effective. You're going to produce so much. You're going to be so successful. You're going to get so many leads. You're going to make so many connections and create so, many, so much results.
Now, what a lot of ENTPs are struggling with is what if it's all fake? What if uh, all these ideas that you're creating, all these results that you're creating, all these leads that you're investigating are just empty? What if uh, it's just talk? What if it's just words? What if it's just fluff? What if even though you're so optimistic about something and even if you're so enthusiastic about something and even if you're so uh, creative, nothing ever turns out to be something real or lasting. Every single idea you had ended up running out of, slipping out of your hands, slipping out of your grasp. You never actually amounted to anything. You actually never produced any real results. Half the things that you said you did were kind of just air in a sense. They didn't actually mean anything or achieve anything. It was just you being in a rush, rushing through something, and so doing it sloppily. And because you did sloppily, it just fell apart in the end. You know, because you can build something and it can last for a minute and it can help you get somewhere, but then it can break as soon as you get off it. And that means a lot of time what the ENTP should be asking themselves is, what is it I have created that is going to last? What is my legacy? What is it I am putting behind me for other people? What are the breadcrumbs that I'm leaving behind for other people to follow? So what you want to do is you want to have breadcrumbs. You want to have uh, uh, small things that other people can grab onto. So you want to leave things behind that other people can use. And that's lessons, information, insight, tools, technology, innovation, new tricks and tips, things that people can use to make their lives better and things that other people can pick up on and work on. Because you don't have to be the person that sits down and runs all the numbers and goes over all the details. You can leave that to other people. You can let other people pick up all the craziness that you leave behind you. You can have other people organize it and put it together for you. You can have other people note down what you do in a day and help you keep track of your schedule. You can rely on tools that help you stay organized through a day. So while you are generating ideas, you are relying on calendars, schedules, and scheduling tools, and uh, logs, and uh, voice apps, and Siri or Alexa. And you're using these things to uh, help, uh, help you externally organize your life. So what you want to do is you want to recognize what your flow state is as an ENTP. And your flow state as an ENTP is that creative testing innovations, trying out new innovations, learning about new technology, and finding out what we can use new technology for. So you want to be in that as often as possible. And then you want to leave all the other things, the stress source, the difficult things, the boring things, the tedious things, to technology, to tools, to uh, friends and family and coworkers that enjoy those things. So you wanna find people that can kind of carry the other side. So people that can help you stay organized and people that enjoy keeping organization. You wanna to use tools that can do it. You wanna write things down. You wanna have notebooks, places where you can put things down. You want to track achievements and you want to have external metrics. You want people to challenge you. And by challenge you, I mean people who hold you accountable, people that ask you what you did on a day, people that ask you how much you did and how much it was worth and how effective it was and how efficient it was and how you did it. You want people around you that ask you how you did it. What was your methodology? And what's your methodology sound? Was there anything you could have improved or done differently? If you can have people around you or an organization that will challenge you with standards, intellectual standards, performance evaluations, things that can give you objective metrics and data and feedback, that's going to be super helpful for you and a big source of inspiration because ENTPs, they like to uh, be on the high scores. So if there is a high score, an ENTP is going to want to be on it. If you see a high score, an ENTP is probably going to be on the top place on that high score. It's just because ENTPs enjoy that aspect, you know, 
of testing their abilities to perform well in a new system or a new tool or a new algorithm. And you want to make sure that those algorithms are changing. So if an algorithm is static, if your work is constantly evaluating all of you by the same metric over and over, and you've already met that performance 10 times over, you're going to get bored. So you want to make sure that those metrics stay fresh, that there's new tools to organize, new systems, new strategies, new mindsets, new frameworks, new methodologies, that, and that these methodologies develop so that whatever hacks you come up with, whatever things you come up with to perform well or to succeed, succeed in these things, you're going to have to step up your game tomorrow. You're going to have to step up your game the day after that, and you're going to have to step up your game the day after that. Anyways, these are my tips for ENTPs that want to become more focused. And uh, at the end of the day, I think focus is flow. So when you are in a state of flow, when you are passionate about something, when you are energetic about something, enthusiastic about something, and when you are able to immerse yourself in something and try it out, that's where you're going to be when you have the most focus as well. So really learn to hijack this state and to stay in it as often as possible and learn to create the lifestyle and work balance and a methodology and framework that works for you. If you have any tips for ENTPs, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.